Hello and welcome to the Highs Boot Camp. I'm David Healy and I'm going to be guiding you along this journey. I've built this course for anyone who wants to learn how to develop their own audio software using Highs. You don't need to have any previous experience as we're going to start with the very basics, but if you have used Highs before or you have some experience developing software or audio plugins with other platforms, this course will still be of benefit to you. Whether that's finding out new workflow tips you weren't aware of, learning more about how Highs projects are managed, or discovering new ways of developing projects with the latest version of Highs, there is something here for everyone. Included with the course is everything you're going to need to follow along with the videos, including project files, cheat sheets, and guidance notes. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to access this extra content, you need to click the link in the video description and sign up for the course at audiodevschool.com. It's completely free, there's no charge at all to do this. So Heise is an open source platform for creating audio software. It was created by Christoph Hart in around 2015 and it's built using the Juice C++ framework. The name originally stood for Hart Instrument Sampler Engine as Christoph's goal at the time was to create a tool for building sample based instruments. However, it's since expanded way beyond that original vision, and in addition to sample libraries, we can use highs to build various kinds of synths, audio effects, MIDI effects, and even standalone applications. I first started exploring highs shortly after it was made publicly available, and about a year after that I switched all of my development work from Contact over to highs. In the years since, I've published numerous highs based products, as well as contributed to projects by other developers. In addition to being a user of Highs, I've also made contributions to its code base, adding new features, fixing bugs, and helping to maintain the source code where I can. This is one of the great benefits of Highs having an open source model. If you find a bug or you need a new feature, you're going to be able to go into the source code and make the necessary changes. Now, of course, for those of you who aren't programmers, the idea of tweaking the source code yourself is not so appealing, but there are people in the Highs community who are able to do this, and you can reach out on the forum with your suggestions. One question I see a lot is, what is the difference between Contact and Highs? And I understand why this question is asked. Both platforms can be used to make sample libraries, and both are used by all levels of developer, from hobbyist to professional. However, beyond that, there isn't really a lot of similarity between the two. Contact is primarily a plugin that musicians, composers, and producers use for running sample libraries. It also includes tools for building sample libraries, but that's a secondary purpose. Highs, on the other hand, is not intended to be used by an end user at all. It's a platform for developers to use to create audio software, that's VST and audio plugins mostly. The end user doesn't need to know anything about Highs, and if you're a user, it's likely you've encountered Highs based plugins and instruments without even knowing it. So in this course, we're going to keep things simple. We're not going to write any code, and we're going to have fun. So head over to the next video and we'll talk about what's included in the course.